so, uh, so getting a following at, at the campus specifically like UNH and Durham is, is definitely a uh, challenge for a lot of bands. Like doing it organically is really hard. Somebody like Alex could be in two bands here his freshman year and the most notoriety he probably got was either playing at Hall Socials with Dustin or playing with us uh, when we used to play at Wild Kitty at night. And then he leaves and does something like American Idol and then everybody knows who he is here. But but other groups, you know, you really don't gain a whole lot of, of following, I think, unless you're a certain genre. You know, bands like Harsh Armadillo or like All Good Feel Good did really well, but that's because they played in in like party scenes and in the bars, um, you know, as like a downstairs entertainment thing. But for a group like a rock group or like acoustic or folk or anything like that, it's really up to like open mics and shows at the Mub. And since they stopped serving alcohol in the Mub in the 80s and installed cable TV, nobody goes to shows at the Mub. You know, so, and it even takes, you know, Nate Hastings puts a lot of work into trying to get shows in the Mub that people go to. And it's still, you know, it's like pulling teeth to get people to go, except for like some really devoted like friends and, and like interested people. But, but overall, it's definitely really difficult. I gave up on trying to use UNH as a launch pad a while back and started focusing on the on Dover and Portsmouth in Boston instead.